Hello and welcome to the video for how do I use the UMG slider bar. I've gone ahead and created a quick example. We're going to go over the parameters first and then work on our example. The slider bar itself has the appearance, style, and events section. Under appearance we have the value. This contains what our value is from 0 to 1 on our slider bar which is 0% and 100%. We have our orientation, which is either a horizontal or a vertical progress bar. We're going to go with horizontal for the example. From here, you can easily change the slider bar color itself, where you'll see we'll set it to green. And we can easily change the slider handle color itself. And we'll go ahead and change this to blue. And then we'll reset it because we're going to change it to white later. Style allows you to style both the bar image and the thumb image. The bar image itself, this is an easy way to change it. Perhaps you want it to be a small row of hearts or you want it to be a dotted dash. This is how you would change that by changing the image. It uses the normal standard material or texture 2D input. The thumbnail image is the thumbnail that you see that you can click on. We're going to go and change this to a heart. And as you can see, we now have a heart for a thumbnail. If we change our value, you can see it slides across. The events is where we capture the mouse, we let go of the mouse, or we have the on value changed event. We're going to use the on value change event for our example. What we're going to do is as we drag this bar across, we will change the opacity of our larger heart. I've gone ahead and already created our events here, and as you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to take our heart image, and we will change the opacity based on the value of the slider bar. Now if we go ahead and hook this up and run our example, you will see as we change it, it will go up or down. But you also notice that it started off full and then when I immediately changed it, it went to black. That's because by default we have not set up our slider bar to actually match. You can use that by getting the values. In our event construct, what we're going to do is take our heart image, get the opacity, and set the slider bar value to be that value. So now when we run this, you'll notice our slider bar is set to the top automatically and it's synced up to our opacity. So there you go. There is a quick example on how to use the UMG slider bar. You might use that in a settings menu, for example, to control your volume as well as many other options. 